Ronaldo gets infected with coronavirus. The Ukrainian national team sensational beat Spain. Argentina took the lead in the 2022 World Cup qualification. Ramos is invited to Juventus and PSG. Courtois can participate in… Well, 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 we must stop here, because otherwise we will tell the most interesting stuff just in a few seconds. How quickly will Cristiano recover from the coronavirus? Will Real be able to save Ramos and what will happen next? The eternal question of the football world. Subscribe right now and you will find out about everything. Friends, what about your bets? How long will it take Ronaldo to recover? Write your opinion in the comments below. So drop your like, because we are about to start. Mind the gap! PSG wants Real to include Courtois in the big Mbappe deal. Real captain Sergio Ramos has offers from PSG and Juventus. In the summer of 2021, the captain's contract with Real Madrid expires, which means that Sergio can negotiate with any of the clubs from January 1st. Transfer Markt has updated the list of the most expensive footballers for 2020. We talked about Azar yesterday. We'll note a rapid drop in price tags for Barcelona's forwards. Messi fell from 140 to 100 million euros, and Griezmann dropped from 120 to 80 million euros. Real expects that the option of buying out Holland won't have to be activated. According to the contract, Erling costs 75 million euros. Madrid have good relations with Borussia up to this moment. Barcelona remain interested in Wijnaldum, Depay and Garcia. The contracts of mentioned players expire in 2021. Friends, support our new project Munda Football with your subscription. We have created this channel for all Spanish-speaking subscribers of our channel. Recommend Munda Football to your amigos and support us by watching them. We are at the very start of the project, so this is quite important. We'll leave the links in the description, pinned comments and the final screen. Alaba hasn't yet decided where he will play. Juventus is keeping an eye on him, but David himself wants to go to Real Madrid or Barcelona. Manchester United are interested in Kunde. Sevilla estimates the defender at 65-70 million euros. Ronaldo is a symbol of world football. At his 35, he works like a young man, said Juventus head coach Andrea Pirlo. Ter Stegen will receive one of the highest salaries at Barca. He wanted 18 million euros a year. Inter wanted to swap Eriksen for Boateng. The players didn't mind, but Bayern snubbed the idea. Manchester United players disappointed that the club didn't let Sergio Romero go to Everton. My failures in the match with Real Madrid? It was two years ago. I'm already bored, only journalists are interested in this, said Loris Karius. Liverpool's owner, Fanway Sports Group, is planning a merger with Billy Bean's Red Bull Acquisition Corporation in order to buy another club in Europe. Messi is a terrible whiner. Sometimes we're like an old married couple, Sport S quoted Aguero. AC Milan coach Daniele Bonera is infected with coronavirus. Real Madrid is currently following 17 years old Giovanni Reina from Borussia Dortmund. Very few people know, but my name is actually Casemiro, said Real Madrid and Brazilian midfielder Casemiro. Thiago, Mane and Henderson will return to Liverpool for the match against Everton. De Bruyne left the Belgian national team due to the injury. Participation in the match with Arsenal is in jeopardy. Zidane still wants to sign Pogba for Real Madrid, according to Marca. Man City loaned Patrick Roberts back to Middlesbrough. Signing of 33-year-old Cavani with a salary of more than £200,000 on the last day of the window is desperate. The Sun quotes Harry Redknapp. Manchester United are looking for Villarreal defender Pau Torres. Manchester City and Barcelona have also shown interest in the 23-year-old Spanish national team player. Roy Keane is the most iconic captain in the Premier League history. Terry, Adams and Gerrard are in the top four. Ramsey got injured for Wales and will immediately return to Juventus. Thomas Partey wants to win the Premier League with Arsenal. We need to get back to the real place where we belong, the Gunners rookie set. The national team of Italy has a case of coronavirus. El Sharavi tested positive. 
Yesterday, a number of interesting matches took place in the Nations League and in the 2022 World Cup qualification. All the results are in front of you. And we are moving on to the main news of the day. Let's start with the biggest one. Cristiano Ronaldo contracted COVID-19. According to the press service of the Portuguese national team, the 35-year-old striker has passed a positive test for coronavirus and won't be able to play with the Swedish national team in the Nations League. It is noted that the footballer's illness is asymptomatic. He is already isolated from the team. After a case of infection was detected in the Portuguese national team, the team's players passed repeated tests for the disease. No other footballer was diagnosed then. We'll recap that earlier Ronaldo refused to observe isolation in the Juventus hotel for the sake of playing for the national team. At that time, two employees of the Italian club had contracted COVID-19, and the players had to go through a two-week quarantine. The footballer will definitely miss three matches of the Italian club. The Portuguese won't play against Crotone and Verona in Serie A, nor he will play in the opening match of the Champions League group stage against Dinamo Kiev. His next match against Barcelona is scheduled for the 28th of October. CR7 runs the risk of missing the battle against Messi because, according to UEFA protocol, he must pass a negative COVID-19 test seven days before the game. Interestingly enough, Cristiano is feeling well. A photo from the training camp of the Portuguese national team was leaked to the network, where Ronaldo is watching the training of his teammates from the balcony. The girlfriend and the future wife of the footballer, Georgina Rodriguez, supported Cristiano. Rodriguez posted on her Instagram a screenshot of the video she took during a conversation with Ronaldo, who currently remains in self-isolation. You are my inspiration, writes Georgina. The main sensational result of the first game day of the fourth round of the League of Nations was made by the Ukrainian team. Andriy Shevchenko's squad beat Spain at home 1-0. Viktor Tsigankov scored the winning goal. Let us recall that in the first match, the Spanish destroyed the Ukrainians 4-0. And now we have that. Bravo Andriy Shevchenko and his team. In another match of Group A, the teams of Germany and Switzerland staged a real shootout. 3-3. After the first half, the Bundes team were losing 1-2. Gavranovic and Freuler took the guests ahead. But Werner closed the gap. After the break, Joachim Löw's team won with a mirror score of 2-1. Havertz and Gnabry scored for the German machine. Gavranovic netted his second goal of the match for the side of Swiss. Another significant event of the day was the victory of the Argentinian national team over Bolivia as part of the second round of the 2022 World Cup qualification stage in the South American section. The match turned out to be extremely difficult for Lionel Scaloni's team. The Hernández Silla Stadium is located at an altitude of 3,601 meters above sea level. The hosts are more accustomed to such highlands and consequently they score the opener in 24th minute. Moreno netted a beautiful header from the cross pass. Argentina equalized with an outstanding goal from Lautaro Martinez. The pressure of the Argentine forward was too hot to perceive. The victory was brought by Joaquin Correa. Messi passed to Lautaro and he assisted to Correa. Just a shot of hope and a rewarding 1-2 victory. The Argentina national team leads the qualifying group. After the match, there was a massive brawl with the participation of Messi. The Bolivians tried to provoke Lionel. Marcelo Moreno was the one to be especially active in that. Presumably, Messi said to Moreno the following. What is your problem, bastard? Leo also said. You are to play in Serie C, asshole. Hmm, Latin American vibes at their best. Thank God that there were no further skirmishes. Friends, we remind you, support our new project Munda Football with your subscription and watching. Do a good deed if you love our channel, subscribe to Munda Football and watch the video in front of you. Well, we will say goodbye for now. Have a nice one, see you in a bit.